Hi everyone and welcome to my creative time today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all for joining me. It's great to have you here. Uh, now I'm going to bring this live up on my devices so that I can see all of your comments and as you're jumping on say hi. Sometimes it takes a few moments for everyone to find their notifications that I've gone live. So we generally have people jumping in um, after a little bit. So that's okay. All right, so I've got it up on my iPad and bring it up on my computer because sometimes my iPad decides to freeze. There we go. Okay. Good. All right. Everything is happy. Everything is working. How is everyone? How are you? How was your weekend? Be sure to say hi as you're jumping on. Hey, Kathleen, how are you going? You have been having a wonderful um, Christmas break. I've been seeing some of your photos. Um, so that's super awesome. Lots and lots of fun. We had a great day on um, Saturday. I'll tell, talk a little bit about that in a moment when a few more people came on. Come on, I should say. Still on holidays, are you? Oh, so lovely. So nice. Hopefully the weather is treating you well. Um, hey, Anne, how are you? Lovely to have you with us today. Where are you watching from, Anne? I'm not sure if, uh, is, it, is this your first time watching or have you watched before? I can't remember. Um, sometimes I get, get people watching from all around the world and occasionally I forget, um, depending on how many different people are popping in here and there because not everybody comes on every week. So sometimes if I don't see anyone, uh, see someone for a little while, I tend to forget where, um, where they are from. So yeah, so you have to have to uh, let me know where you're watching from. Okay, we've got a few more jumping on now. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how's the fishing going, Kathleen? Have you been getting some good catches up there? Um, ah, you're watching the first time, and from Shoalhaven Heads. Oh, oh, good old Shoaly. So what you probably don't know then, Anne, is uh, I grew up. Um, holidaying every holidays down at Shoalhaven Heads. Um, we used to take our caravan down there. Well, I think my first, my very first trip when I was only six months old, we camped in a big, big family tent because there's five children and, and our parents uh, at that time. And uh, we had a tent, but then my parents quickly realized that five children and a little baby in a big tent was not the best idea. So then they bought a caravan. And every holidays after that, we uh, we went down to Shoalhaven Heads and we stayed at Shoalhaven Heads Caravan Park. Um, and uh, yeah, I used to go to Beach Mission down there every year. I don't know if Beach Mission still runs down there anymore, but um, loved it. Used to go horse riding down there, um, down at Shoalhaven Heads as well. And my favorite little pony, his name was Star because he had a little star on his, um, on his forehead. And yes, so I used to go um, just around the corral because I was only little then. <laughs> and then I was when I was a bit older, I went out on some trails and my, my sisters and brothers used to go out on the trails. I was a little bit little when we first started. Um, but yeah, holidayed down there for many years. Love. So Shoalhaven has um, part of my heart. And I've got lots and lots of beautiful photos of holidaying down there and my dad fishing. And he's a very keen fisherman, my dad. So that's so lovely. So great to have you. Hey, Zana, how are you? Great to have you with us today. I'm just flicking through the comments. Um, oh, Kathleen. Yes, I'll talk about the lunch in a moment. It was lovely. It was so beautiful. Sorry you couldn't join us, but um, hopefully we'll be able to plan another one later in the year and you might be able to come to that one. We had a great time. Um, Kathleen said the fishing is excellent and the weather is fantastic. So nice. I wish I could have got away to go to spend some time near the ocean. Um, I love being near the ocean. Don't love the sand so much and I don't walk so well on the sand, but, um, yeah, I love being near the ocean, but 
yeah, we were unable to get away. So, hey, Kimberly, how are you? Great to have you with us. Um, Zana said it's 5 a.m. there in the UK and it's very cold. Oh, it's very early for you. <laughs> And very cold. Oh, well, you have to rug up so you stay nice and warm. Put the heating on. <laughs> We're in summer, so we've actually been having, um, so our seasons are opposite to you, which you probably already knew. So we've been having some beautiful warm weather. And uh, yeah, it's been really, really lovely. Hey, Rose, how are you? Great to have you with us today. Um, yeah. So, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, so lovely to have you all here today. We had, um, yeah, keep chatting. Keep letting me know that you're here. Keep letting me know what you've been up to, how your weekend was. So on Saturday, we, hi, Dimity, how you going? Great to have you here. On Saturday, um, some of my team and I, because we have team members all over the country, so not everybody is local, um, but some of the local team members and myself, we went and had a lovely lunch at a restaurant on Saturday, and uh, and we had a great time. Um, we uh, Some of the team members hadn't met each other, so they had the opportunity to meet each other and get to know each other a little bit, and chat we had beautiful meal oh my goodness the meals were enormous and um so so yummy so every, like there were so many different um we we're all checking out what everybody else was eating it all looked so good and uh, we had some great conversations lots of laughs lots of chatting um then we had coffee afterwards and then some of us had an additional drink after that either hot drink cold drink and uh, we started out inside and then we spent some time out on the balcony overlooking the river um, to finish off the afternoon when it died, when it was a bit quieter and some of the tables outside were available. So we scooted outside and um, sat out there and by then it had started to cool down a little bit so it wasn't quite as hot. And it was really, really lovely. I think we were there for, in, in the end, I think some of us were there, some left a little bit earlier, but I think the majority of us were there for about five hours, just over five hours. <laughs> but it was lovely. It didn't. It went really quick, actually. It felt felt like it went really quick. But it was just so lovely. So I think we'll be going back to that place again too. Um, it was just it just catered really well. Had its own parking and just catered really well for us, and we really loved it. So yeah, it was lovely. Hey Deborah, how are you? Great to have you here today. Um. Oh, Zana said it's one degree there. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. And the heating is set to come on at seven. Oh my goodness, can you turn that, can you turn that down a little bit so it can kick in a bit earlier? <laughs> Between one and seven is, is, uh, is a lot, it's very cold. <laughs> hey Jenny, how you going? Great to have you here. Um, Kimberly said the heat wave in Minnesota about 40 degrees. Oh wow. So is is that 40 Fahrenheit or 40 Celsius? Because we have Celsius here in Australia. I'm not very good with the conversion. I would have to Google it. <laughs> I'm not sure what the what the uh, equivalent would be. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so Saturday afternoon was just a beautiful beautiful afternoon and um yeah, and we just had a lovely time um, chatting and getting to know one another. And yeah, it was really funny. Um, oh, not really funny, sorry, really lovely is what I meant to say. It was really lovely. So yeah, so we um, hopefully this year now that uh, things are sort of getting a little bit back to normal, um, we're hoping to be able to do a few more in-person gatherings together as a team. Um, it's really great to bring everybody together as a community because we are a, a community of crafters and uh, although we have our community group in our little Facebook group and we have our monthly Zoom gatherings and um, crafting time together via Zoom, it's lovely just to get together in person um, and it's a great way, much easier for people to get to know each other and chat as well in person. So we hope to do um, yeah some more of that this year so that'll be really awesome. Um, Oh, Anne said it's about nine degrees Celsius. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Anne, for that conversion. <laughs> oh, awesome. Very good. Well, let me tell you a few things. Um, so aside from 
the team gathering that we had on Saturday. Yesterday, um, so we, we've we been having, you might have seen a few of my posts that I've made on Facebook over the last couple of weeks, but we've been having a big clean out at my house. So we started with the garage. That was the big objective, was the garage. Um, the other objective was to get my retired craft products, which um, I do sell those and I, I put them on um, different Facebook groups from time to time as well. Um, the idea was to get them, which had been crate, they'd all been crated up, but they were in my um, fam in my lounge room. I wanted them out of the lounge room and s stored somewhere, somewhere else. So I've, we've actually, uh, Amber, my daughter, has helped me and we've cleared out the wardrobe in here and I will post up photos this week. Um, I didn't get a chance to over the weekend because there were so many other things I was posting. But um, we have cleared out the cupboard in here, the wardrobe in here that is over to my left, so you can't see it on camera. And um, every all the crates, all the retired products are all in here. It's all organized, it's beautiful. I've got all my sewing stuff in here as well. It's all beautiful, not that I sew very much these days, but I've still got some fabrics and my sewing machine and you know things like that, sewing box. So it's all beautiful now, so well organized. And of course, once you get started, do you ever find that once you get started, you just wanna keep going and going and going. So gradually we're getting through the different rooms of the house, going through and culling, and I'm getting very good at culling, throwing things out that we don't need anymore, donating those things that are still good that others can um, use. So um, yeah, so I've been like a machine. And then last night I started on my husband's study, which is a big job, oh my goodness. Anyway, we won't go there. But needless to say, three hours on my feet and I was cactus by last night. So <laughs> I sort of went to bed thinking, I don't know if I'll be up to doing my Zoom, my um, Facebook Live tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I actually woke up feeling a lot better once I had rested. So, <laughs> oh, good. Hey, Angela, how are you going? Great to have you here. Yeah, so we've been, and then this morning I did some more. I did some more of um, our wardrobe and cleared out some more of my husband's things and some of those things you just you just store, you put them away for a time and think, yep, I'll, I'll just, you know, we'll put that there for now and then we'll, we'll deal with it later. Oh my goodness, we had so many of those things. So I had to uh, get rid of a few of those and we're still going. So I did a couple more hours in the wardrobe today. And then I started on my bathroom while I was in my bathroom. I'm like, oh, just chuck out a couple of things while I'm in here too. <laughs> it's just, it snowballs. Uh, but of course, as you clear out one area, you need to put it somewhere else until you get rid of it. So you clear one area and it's beautiful and clean and tidy and organized. And then you clear out another area, but you've got to put that stuff somewhere for a time until you get rid of it. And then the area you just cleared, has now got stuff in it again. It's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want my house tidy and organized. It's a process, we'll get there. Oh, but anyway, my girls have been amazing. Brooke did heaps of work while she was here um, in the garage to help us with that. And then Amber and I have continued since she left. So um, yeah, it's been awesome. So, hey Judy, how you going? Great to have you here. So yeah, so that was my weekend. Um, yeah, so lots of team fun and lots of clearing out. So I'm pumped, I'm excited, and um, yeah, the body's a bit tired. <laughs> but it's all good, it's all good. All right, so let me tell you a couple of things and then we will jump in. I have got a really cute card to share with you today. Um, it's, very, it's a very clean card actually for me. Not a lot of distressing or things like that. Uh, a really easy one to create. So I hope that you like it. But let me just tell you about a couple of things. I have got a class on offer at the moment. Um, if you saw my Facebook Live last Thursday, you might have seen me talk about it and I used some of those products uh, that we're using for the class in my Facebook Live last week. It's using the Memories of More cards um, to make um, easy, simple cards to put together without any stamping, but we are including ribbon and bling. It's called Enjoy the Adventure Project Class. And in the class, we're going to be making 10 cards and two tags. Plus, with what was left over, I made two more cards last Thursday. So you can always go back and watch that and make the additional two cards if you like as well, or use your leftovers to create something else of your own. Um, so basically, if you include those, that's 12 cards and two tags. 
and the registration closes tomorrow. Is today the 16th? Yes, it is. So tomorrow, Tuesday the 17th, the registration closes. So if you would like to get in on this class, then um, register today um, or tomorrow, but do it today so you don't forget today. Um, I will pop the registration link um, in the comments and then I will also post a link um, to all of my um, links. Uh, it's called Linktree. So I have what's called a Linktree. It's a link extender. A, a bit of a bit of jargon um, but basically what you do is you click on that link and it takes you to all my different links you can choose then where you want to go from there so all of my classes and everything like that when they're current I put them in there too uh, so let me just pull up the link specifically for this class though I just have to find it now um, doo -doo 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 -doo. where are we class registration forms there we go so it's the Enjoy the Adventure Project class. And this is a good thing about having um, my computer open right next to me because I can grab all of these links and put them straight there in the comments for you. There we go. So that's there. So you can click on the link and just have a look to see what's included in the class. When you click on that link, it's not registering you straight away, okay, because you have to complete a registration form that's attached to that link um, to be able to participate in the class. So you can click on the link, just have a read of what's involved. Uh, sorry, what's involved. Well, yeah, what's involved and what's included. And if you like that, if you like the sound of that, then there's two options there for you. So the two options, the first option will include all of the products to um, create the projects, including the ribbon and the bling, all the card bases, all the memories and more cards that you need for the projects, and then all you need of your own is your adhesives, your trimmer, and a pair of um, paper snips, and you're good to go. Um, paper snips are just scissors. They're just the, uh, the Stampin' Up scissors. We call them paper snips. They're a nice little short bladed pair of scissors that are really easy to, um, to work with. Um, and then there's a second option that is PDF only. So even if you live out of the country, but you love the sound of the class, you can purchase that PDF from me as well. Um, so you just, again, fill in that registration form and let me know which option you would like to choose. Okay, so um, so that's that. Now, of course, we all know by now that we have got the brand new mini catalog, which we're going to be playing with some new product out of the mini catalog today. So that's super awesome. And if you don't have one of these and you're here in Australia um, without a demonstrator, then please let me know and I would love to send one to you. Um, you I actually have a registration form for that too. You can fill that in. That gives me all of your details so that I have your mailing address and everything and your name and your email address so that I can um, send you out those catalogs and get in contact with you just to check that you've received them and things like that. So I will grab that link now. Um, let me see. I really need my glasses on when I do this. <laughs> uh, let me see. Stampin' Up! Catalog Request. That's the one there. Let's grab that link. And I'll pop that one in the comments as well that you can jump on that straight away if you would like a catalogue. But if you already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then please ask your demonstrator um, for a catalogue and I'm sure that they will be happy to help you. Hey Fee, how are you going? Great to have you here. Now as well as the mini catalogue, and this one is bumper pack. It's actually, I think this one's actually quite a big mini catalogue. There's a lot of pages of beautiful, beautiful products in here. So many different ones. Um, but yeah, you just have to see it. It's gorgeous. Um, but we also have at the moment Celebration running. And for those of you that might not be familiar with Celebration, it runs from the 5th of January until the 28th of February. And during that time, with every um, purchase of $90 or multiples of $90, you can choose a free product from this Celebration brochure. We're going to be playing with some of these on Thursday at 11 a.m. in my live then. So be sure to come on Thursday morning to see what I'm going to be playing with because we're playing with some celebration items um, on that day. Um, yeah, but in here there are stamp sets, there's beautiful designer series paper, lots and lots of things to choose from, and they're free when you shop with me. 
or they're free with when you shop with whoever um, it, it is your demonstrator during celebration. So be sure to check that out. Now, if I send you a, um, a mini catalog or even an annual catalog, I will send you the celebration brochure absolutely free as well. And I like to send out um, the first one as a complimentary copy for you. So um, it's no cost to you. All right, so that is what's happening. Now, I have a prize draw to draw today too, and I will do that now before we get on to the project, just in case any of you have to leave early if you've got other commitments. So I had a customer prize draw running um, from the time that we had, from the time the catalog launched on the 5th of January until the 15th, which was yesterday. So I closed it off yesterday. Um, I had a mini catalog, I was, well, I participated in a mini catalog launch, which was virtual a couple of weeks ago. Um, it ran from, it ran from the 5th to the 7th. It went for two and a half days. There were 59 presentations, I think, in the end. Uh, which was amazing, and so this was my um, this was my little prize that was attached to the launch. So the prize is the beautiful decorative borders stamp set, and this is the one that I demonstrated during the um, the launch party. And oh, that's where you found me, and ah, oh, fantastic! That's great. Oh, there you go. That's cool. So, um, yeah, so this is the prize that I'm going to be drawing today. Now, um, to enter in this prize draw, um, this was for my customers or, um, yeah, anyone that was shopping with me. And for every $50 um, that my customers spent, they would get an entry into the draw. So I have got a box with some names in here. Now, I'm old school. Okay, so I like to do the old school, you know, lucky dip, choose the name, pick the name. Um, and these are one of the cute little Stampin' Up! boxes that used to be available a couple of years ago. And I've still got a couple of these floating around. So I use this with my team as well um, to draw all of our prizes because I do prize draws with my team as well for different things. Um, so yeah, so I've got, all, I've got all the names in there with all of the orders, as you can see. So I'm going to give these a good shake and mix them up and I'm going to draw it live right now. Okay, let's just pick one. There we go. I have one. And let's see who is the winner. Oh, I've got to open it. Hang on a sec. There we go. It's Tracy M. Congratulations, Tracy. Now, I didn't put surnames just so that I could, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, keep your privacy. Yeah. So, um, Tracy, you know who you are. I know who you are. So I will contact you this afternoon and let you know in case you're not seeing this live today. And I'll let you know that you have won the prize and I will get that out to you this week. So congratulations, Tracy. That is awesome. So that's always fun. Always fun having prize draws. And I love, I love spoiling my customers and my team and I love giving them special things. All right, I'll pop that over there for Tracy. There we go. Yay. Good, good, good. All right. Okay. All righty. So I am ready to craft with you. Are you ready? Are you excited? See some more new products used? All right. So what I will do is I'm going to cover up the camera and tip it down onto my desk. Um, so that I can show you what we're going to be playing with today. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, you know what I forgot to tell you about? I told you about celebration, about shopping with celebration during celebration. I forgot to tell you about the joining offer. Oh my goodness. I think I did that last week too. <laughs> it was an, was an afterthought, but do you know what? Shopping during celebration is awesome because you can earn free product. But joining during celebration is even more awesome because you get even more free product. So if you have a look, if you have one of these, if you have a look on pages 18 and 19 in the back of the brochure, it gives you information there about the three options of joining at the moment. There's three options during celebration, which I don't think there's been ever three options since I've been a demonstrator in my six years. Um, you pretty much get one option and that's it. But yeah, three options. So um, 
you'll see this cute little stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now this color, you might think, what, what is that color? That is boho blue. And that's a boho blue mini machine and it is exclusive for celebration. It's the only time you can get it and you can only get it when you join. As demonstrators, we were actually able to order it last month. Um, I already have a mini machine, so I didn't order the blue one, but I know a lot of people fell in love with it and did. But now the only way to get it is to, um, to join because you can't purchase it. So the deal is you can choose either the Boho Blue Mini Machine or you can choose the, the Ordinary White Mini Machine, which we'll be using today. Whoops, there goes my plates. So this is the Mini Machine and I'm going to show you how to use that today. Um, so you can choose either one of those. So option one is the, the Boho Blue Mini Machine. Plus, you get to choose $315 of product of your choice as well to put in your starter kit as well as the machine. And you're only going to pay $210. So it's $425 worth of value for only $210. So how amazing is that? You're like doubling, more than doubling your your money, basically. So that is a better a better. Um, option really than shopping to be honest <laughs> it's the best deal in the catalog um, the option two is um, the same but instead of the blue mini machine you can choose the white one um, and everything in my craft room is pretty much white or pink so I, I stuck with the white one um, and then but if you already have a, a die cutting machine and you don't want another one we've got an option for you as well that's option three and you don't have to remember which option is which. The system tells you when you when you go in. Um, but the third option is just the product. So if you would just like to choose $315 worth of product and only pay $169 for that. So you get to choose what you would like to put in your starter kit. Um, it's a super awesome option. Now when you join, um, you will then get an ongoing 20% discount on your um, products, which is awesome. So anything after that that you purchase, um, you get a 20% discount, uh, which is super awesome. You also are becoming part of my beautiful crafting community. Uh, and as I was telling everyone earlier about the beautiful lunch that we had together on Saturday, we had such a fun day. Um, but as well too, you can, uh, there's no pressure to sell. So if you just want to uh, order products for yourself to enjoy the discount for yourself, you can do that. That's okay, you're, you're allowed to do that and a lot of my team members do do that. Um, if you want to share Stampin' Up! with your friends and perhaps give them a catalogue and they might want to order a thing or two from you, um, then you can do that too. Uh, but that's totally up to you, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can exit at any time. There's no exit penalties or lock-in period or anything like that. Um, all you do is you stop ordering as a demonstrator and you go back to being my customer. So it's super, super easy. Uh, so if anybody's interested in that, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, so please feel free to get in contact with me. Um, to let you know too, you might hear people talk about quarterly minimums. So quarterly minimums, there is a minimum amount if you would like to stay on, but you, you can choose not to. You can choose just to purchase the starter kit and then um, after, you know, you can go back to being a customer again, that's okay. But if you want to stay on, um, there are quarterly minimums and it works out about $127 per month um, after your discount. So if you want to maintain that to stay on, then you're welcome to do that. If that's not doable for you, you are still welcome to purchase that starter kit and, um, and then you can choose from there what you would like to do. So there's no, as I said, there's no lock-in period or anything like that. So totally up to you. And I'm happy for you to do whichever way you like, whatever suits you and your lifestyle, um, then that is awesome. But please feel free to let me know if that's something you're interested in and um, I'm certainly happy to make time to, uh, with you to answer any of your questions either um, over the phone or via text message or messenger or whatever suits you. Um, so that is, um, that's about joining. Uh, but of course we would love to welcome you to our crafting community. We do lots of fun things together and then there's the wider 
crafting community too. You get exclusive access to lots of different things and um, demonstrator only Facebook groups and the demonstrator website and there's so many resources and so many um, uh, craft, uh, sorry, project ideas and all sorts of things like that. Like I could talk about joining is probably my favorite topic apart from crafting itself. I could talk about it forever. <laughs> so yeah, so I just, I just think it's the best deal. So why wouldn't you want the best deal? Um, yeah, so, oh, hi Fee. I can't remember if I said hi to you. Hello. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, Zana said more plus awesome equals more some. I like that. Oh, I'll have to start using that. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Laurie, how you going? Great to have you here. Hi, hey, Martha. Great to have you here too. So, so anyway, so that's about the joining offer. That's available only until the 28th of February. So jump on that one. And, uh, and those boho blue machines are very, very cute. Um, however, I didn't really need another one myself. So uh, I just stuck. Oh, I was so tempted. So, so tempted because it was so cute. I really wanted it. But then I thought, no, oh, I can spend that money on other products. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get ready to craft. So I'm going to cover up the camera now and tip down onto the desktop and uh, show you what we're going to be creating with today. So bear with me for one moment while I just get that ready for you. Here we go. All right, we will do a flippity flip of the cameras and here we go. All right, this might be a little bit noisy while I just get this set up. Oh, no, not too many squeaks today. It'll probably be when I undo everything. Oh no, here we go. There's the squeakies. All right, let's see how that is looking and I'll adjust the lights while the, uh, the iPad and the computer are just catching up. There we go. Good, good. That is looking great. And I think I got that straight. Why am I over that far so much? Oh, you know what? My camera's crooked. That's probably why. I didn't get that very straight today. How's that? That's better. I had my camera at a bit of an angle. That looks a little bit better. There we go. Now I'll move this down. I've just got my um, keyboard up there in case I need to um, type anything for you over on my computer. Um, now, if you like any of the products that you see today, you can um, find them in my online store. So if you go to my blog, mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com, you can find um, the shop button at the top of my blog. You will also find my join button there too. If you have already made the decision to join, um, you're happy with everything, you don't have any questions and you just want to join, you can go there and click on the join button and that links straight through to my join um, page. But of course, if you've got any questions, then feel free to contact me first before you do do that. Um, but yeah, so that's an option there as well. Also too, if you haven't already signed up for my newsletter, be sure to sign up there on my blog for my newsletter. You'll see over on the right hand side, there's um, a little icon, a little uh, image there where you can click on and that will go through to my registration for my weekly email newsletter. And that'll keep you up to date with everything that is happening. Alrighty, so let's have a look at these beautiful products. Now remember, um, with every purchase of $90, you can uh, choose an item from the celebration brochure. I won't go through them all because I did that um, uh, a week and a half ago on the Thursday, I think it was. I went through every single item. We had a look at all of the products because I have um, all of those and we I showed you the physical copy. I won't do that again, but there's a lot in there to choose from. But today we're going to be playing with mini catalog product. And what we're going to be playing with is something a little bit different. But at first when I saw this, I thought, you know what? That looks like a lot of fun. It is the um, conversation bubble hang on the conversation bubbles bundle try to say that three times fast <laughs> the conversations conversation bubbles bundle this is a really really fun 
project and I'm working with some really bright fun colors today. So you've got the stamp set and then um, there's lots of fun things in here, all different shaped conversation bu bubbles. You've got lots of little words that you can pop in there. You've got the star and um, the additional flower. So you've got a couple of extra little um, things to go in there as well or to, to use in, in different ways on your project. Then there's coordinating dies as well that cut out all of the speech bubbles. So this is super fun. You can purchase them separately, but as I always say, whenever there is a stamp set that has a coordinating dies, especially this one, um, yeah, because you'll be wanting the dies to cut them out, especially when you see what I do with them, um, get the bundle because you'll save yourself 10%. Okay, so this bundle is um, $81.75. So if you add an adhesive or something like that onto that order to bump that up over the $90, then you also get a free item from the celebration brochure. Okay, so yeah, so keep that in mind. But let's have a look in person at the actual products themselves. So here's the stamp set and here's the dies. I'll take those out of the cover in the moment. But how cool is the stamp set? Look at all those. You can probably see them a little bit easier here rather than in the catalog. But how fun is all of all of those um, little sentiments? Well, they're not full sentiments, but I guess they're like words and greetings. Greetings more than sentiments. Uh, so it's a red rubber cling stamp set, uh, which is really awesome. I love the, the red rubber. It's my favorite. And I've already put the stickers on all of those as well, as you can see, so that that makes it easier to line them up when you've got the stickers on there. And let's have a look at the dies. These dies are really fun. I have got, um, so when you die cut these, not only do you get the outside of the speech bubble, so if you're die cutting, you know, one of these speech bubbles, but you get all the inner parts too, and then you can stamp on those as well. So I have kept, and we're going to be using some of these, so you'll see how they work. I will show you how they work. But you get all of the little the little inner bits too. So these are so you sort of got like the positive and the negative parts. So here's the little cutout part. And then this is the piece that it cuts out from the center. And it, it cuts that, it cuts them both in one pass through the machine. So see how it's like one piece there, but it actually cuts out both pieces at one time. And the outer parts on some of the dies, which you probably can't see on camera, but the outer parts have actually got embossing on them too, and that's built into the die. I'm not sure if you can, can you see that? You might be able to see it a little bit on camera. Oh yeah, I think you can see that. See how it's embossed on part of it there, which is really fun. And each of them has a different um, pattern. You can see if I show you on the dies, whoops, that one's having a little ride. Look at that. He's piggybacking, having a ride. So see how there's a different embossed, um, this one doesn't, this one's just solid, but these ones have the different embossing on them. So that adds an, an extra element, extra bit of texture on your card. Oh, Fee loves this one. Yes, awesome. Have you played with these ones yet, Fee? This is my first project with these ones. So I haven't, because um, I've got so many of the new pro products. Um, every time I go to make a project, I'm like, oh, which ones will I use this time? And it's really hard to choose which ones because I just want to use them all. I just want to have a play with them all. No, haven't used them yet. Okay. Oh, good. Well, hopefully I'll be able to give you some ideas today. So I keep all of my extra little pieces and I keep them in um, a little uh, cello envelope so that I can, um, yeah, use those on future projects. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Amber said it's good value being able to use one die for two different shapes. It is. You're right. You're exactly right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so are you ready to see my project for today? And we are using a couple of other extra, um, we're just using it, we're using an embossing folder as well, for the, which fits through the mini. So I can show you how to use those as well with the mini machine. Um, but are you ready to see my project? Here we go. So it's really fun. Here it is here. Isn't it just so cute? 
So we've got the, um, it's a thank you card, but we've got, let me hold that up a little bit closer. It's a thank you card and we've got the um, different colors of the speech bubbles. So you can really change that up into any colors that suits you. We've got the pop of color in the, the card base as well and the orange here, which is the pumpkin pie. Um, but so that these all stand up, I've put this onto a white base and we've used, oh, I forgot to show you that die. This one here at the bottom, I'll show you how to use that one today too because you can make like a giant speech bubble. So see how this one looks like a giant speech bubble and then you've got all the little speech bubbles inside it. Isn't that cute? And then in the background, we've used the stars as well. So we've done a little bit of inking on the embossed piece, but everything else we've kept really clean and um, done a little bit of heat embossing here. So this is what we're going to create today. I feel like I need the, the camera just needs to be a little bit closer to the desk. So I'm just gonna move the camera down a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit too far away. So bear with me for one moment and I'm just gonna lower that. Might make you a little bit dizzy. So if you get dizzy or motion sick, turn away for a moment and I'll just lower this down. Oh, I've gotta just release that clamp. How close do we need it? Let's see. Is that a bit closer? Just wait for everything to catch up. See how that looks. See if that looks a little bit better. A little bit easier to see. That's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, great. I'll just do that up tight now so that it doesn't, doesn't move anywhere. Okay, great. You know, one thing I forgot to pull out was my grid paper. Let me grab that. Oh. Oops, just hit my light. I'll take a piece of um, grid paper to stamp on. So these pads of grid paper are fantastic. They're available in the annual catalog or in my online store. And um, it's just a great way of protecting your work surface when you're stamping or doing anything messy. Then you can just pop that down onto your desk. Um, I can't get them back in. There we go, I'll stick them over there. Uh, yeah, so they are fantastic. All right, so I'm going to pop the card to the side and I'm going to show you um, how to create this card. Now, the other product that we are using is the Stripes and Splatters 3D Embossing Folder, which I love this one. And these ones are made specially for the mini machine because they're narrower than some of the big embossing folders. So, um, so that's perfect. So we're going to use that one as well. And we're going to be doing a little bit of heat embossing. So we're only using um, two colors of ink and our Versamark, which is our clear ink, which we're, we use this one for our embossing. But I've got Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight. So we'll start with um, our stamping and our embossing first. Uh, sorry, yeah, heat embossing. And then we'll put the rest of the card together. We'll do all of our die cutting together. Okay, so here's all of our pieces. Now, I'm not going to give measurements for all of the pieces. All of the measurements will be up on my blog tomorrow. So I will um, post the link to the blog here on my Facebook page tomorrow. And you'll be able to go through to there and get all of the measurements um, that you need. All right, so we need to start with our pink and our white piece. And then we're going to also stamp on our grey piece. So they're the ones for stamping. All the others are going to be um, die cut, or this one's going to be, actually this one I might dry emboss too because then we've got to do a bit of inking on that. But all these other little pieces we're going to put to the side, but we've got some crushed curry, pumpkin pie, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Tahitian Tide, and we've got basic grey, and we've got Melon Mambo. Wait a sec, I've got all my colors listed here somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> Just get all my colors straight. So Basic Gray, Pumpkin Pie, Tahitian Tide, Crushed Curry, Basic White, Melon Mambo. Yeah, I was right. I missed, the, I missed the Basic White. All right, so we'll pop all of these ones to the side. As I said, all of the measurements, all of the colors, everything will be up on my blog tomorrow. So you can check that out there. I'm going to start with the um, the Daffodil Delight because that's going to be the quickest one. And that one is going to be stamped on the white, a little square white piece. So we'll start with that one first. Oh, you know what I didn't do? 
I didn't mount up my stamps onto my blocks yet. I got my blocks out ready, but I thought oh, I'll show you all the stamps first. But yeah, I just love how many stamps you get in this stamp set too. So many. All right, so for this one, we want the little star. There we go. So we'll pop the little star onto one of my little blocks. And then we want the speech bubble with the love hearts. Oops. And we'll pop that one on that one. And then we want the big thank you speech bubble. We'll pop that one on a D block. There we go. So my D block is my most used block. And of course, you can use that for smaller stamps too. But I have lots of blocks because I used to hold in-person classes before the last couple of years. You know what's all been happening. You all know what's been happening in the last couple of years. Um, yeah, so I always had lots and lots of blocks so that I had plenty for classes. But it comes in very handy, actually, when you're making lots of projects. All right, so we're going to stamp the um, speech bubble with the hearts first. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. Hold that for a moment to let that ink transfer. There we go. Very cute. And we're going to die cut that when we do all the die cutting. All right, so we're just going to set that aside for the moment. That's as easy as that is with that color. All right, I'm just going to ink off that excess ink and clean it on my chamois. There we go. All right, so the next one we'll do is, um, we might do the gray one next because um, the thank you needs to be heat embossed. So we need a bit more time for that one, but we'll do the little star. So we're going to just Stamp, stamp these randomly all over. Oh, actually, we're going to use the Versamark for that as well. Um, so we're using the Versamark for the grey and for the heat embossing. I forgot about that bit. Um, and so we're just going to stamp these randomly all over. And just creating our own background. Basically, like creating um, our own DSP, really. I'm not always great at stamping random because <laughs> I like things, you know, sort of organized and stamping random does not come naturally to me. I've got to remember to turn my turn my stamp as well so we get those stars going in different directions. Some of these will be covered up, of course, by the layers that we're going to be adding, but I want to make sure that I get plenty on there to make sure that I'm, um, yeah, not missing any areas when I go to stamp that. Now, because this is um, clear pigment ink, it does take a little bit longer to dry. So that's another good reason to um, do this first, to allow that to dry before we start putting all our layers on there. There we go. I think that's okay. I think that should be enough. We well, might just add one more just going off the edge up there and down here too. There we go. Good. So we've got all our little stars there. So we'll pop that one to the side and give that some time to dry. And we'll just clean this little star on our chamois. As I always say, it's a good idea to clean your stamps straight away. Keep them in good condition. There we go. Now the Simply Chamois is available in my online store as well. It's a very thick chamois and it's great for cleaning your stamps. It does get a bit stained up over time, um, but so long as you rinse it out, you know, each week or depending on how much you're stamping. If you're stamping every single day, you'd want to probably rinse it out every few days. Um, I rinse mine out about once a week. Um, as I said, unless I'm doing like a big project like multiples, or, or whatever and um, yeah as long as you rinse out the excess ink then it's good to go you can also um, chuck them in your washing machine just make sure you don't put any fabric softener or anything like that through just normal detergent or you can wash them out in a sink with some dishwashing detergent as well then just rinse them really well 
Um, and from time to time, it's good to let them air so that they don't go moldy. All right, but if they start getting a bit musty smelling, then give them a good wash. Rinse them out, then wash them. Um, I like to soak them overnight in some dishwashing detergent and then rinse them out the next day and they come up beautiful. So there you go. All right, now that one is done. Now we're going to do our pink piece and then we'll do our um, heat embossing. So I've got to get everything ready for my heat embossing. So I've got my heat tool here ready to go. I haven't, oh, I haven't plugged it in. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Hang on a sec. I've got to unplug my iPad. Sorry, I'm just reaching over for a sec to reach my plug. Plug that in. There we go. Okay. And I've got my, um, oh, we might use the embossing buddy too. I've got my heat embossing um, accessories pack. This is also available in the online store. Um, this you won't find in any current catalogue. It was in the previous mini catalogue that just retired, but it is available in the online store. So as part of the pack, you get the embossing buddy, the tweezers, the um, tray and the brush, which, where is my brush? Where is my brush? That's a very good question. Hmm. There's a little flat-ended brush that comes with it and it should be here in my I'm looking in my pen tin my tool my pen and tool tin but it's not there I don't know where it is oh there it is there we go and the brush as well so the brush is good for sweeping away any of those excess little granules of um, embossing powder and it's also good for cleaning your tray as well um, I'm using white embossing powder today that's obviously sold separately it doesn't come with the accessories so what we're going to do is we'll take our uh, embossing buddy and rub that just across our cardstock. This is an anti-static pillow and it just stops the embossing powder from sticking anywhere else other than the ink. Okay, because it, otherwise it will stick to things like fingerprints if you've got, you know, slightly oily skin and, you know, we pick up things on our skin. So, all right, so we'll ink this up on our Versamark. And we'll stamp that, beautiful. Alrighty, that's my embossing buddy. And while that ink is still wet, we'll pop that in the tray and we're going to use a little bit of our white embossing powder and sprinkle that over. Oh, I should have closed my ink pad first before I did that in case I spilt my, I should always do that. <laughs> All right, and then tap that off. I like to give a little tap on the back with a handle of a paintbrush or a pen or whatever you've got close by. And then we'll heat that. Now, normally I would return that straight away. Well, let's do it. We'll return that straight away to my container. I'll just take the little screw cap lid off. Whoops. Lucky I had paper underneath. There we go. And then we can use that little brush to sweep that in and that just funnels straight back into your container there we go all right pop that up there and i've got a little bit of excess here on my paper so i'm just going to tip that off into my bin there we go okay i'll use my tweezers to heat and when you're heating with your heat tool just give it a few moments to warm up first before you take it to your cardstock that will then mean that it will heat and melt that embossing powder much more quickly and you're less likely to burn your cardstock or to overheat your um, embossing powder so as this starts to melt hopefully you can see that in the light wait let me angle my light a little bit better um, as this starts to melt, it'll become shiny and bright white. Can you see that melting? And then once that melts, that's it, you're, you're finished. Okay, so just take your heat tool away then once that's all melted. If you continue to heat that, you can overheat embossing powder and then it becomes flat and dull um, and you lose that beautiful um, shiny luster that you get. Okay, 
Now the tips of these get really hot because they are ceramic. So just be careful with those once you've used them with your heat tool and just pop them aside to cool down a bit. Okie doke, so there we've got that one. All right, I didn't clean my stamp yet, so I'll just go to that step and we'll clean the stamp. Um, there was something else I was going to mention about the stamps. Oh, that's right. So with the stamps, because you've got the speech bubble and you've got the words, I'll show you on this side, you've got the speech bubble itself and you've got the words you can decide to ink up one or the other now one way you can do that is you if you want to just ink up the outside of the the speech bubble you can do that very carefully with your ink pad by running it around you know the edge or what you can use is your stamp and write markers because these are water based so these are just like your or, or similar to your stamp pads your classic stamp and pads so you can actually use your um, brush tip to color on the stamp. So you just color around the edge to get your, your speech bubble. Or if you want the sentiment in, in the middle, but you don't want the speech bubble, you can just color the sentiment. Then you huff your breath a couple of times just to moisten that ink and then stamp. So that's another way that you can actually, let me just, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Let's do the thank you. I'll do it real quick. Just give you a little demo of how that works. Just be careful not to get the ink onto your, the outside of your rubber. I did get a little bit just there, but I just want the words. Okay, so as you do this, that ink does start to dry quite quickly because it's water-based ink. I should move my chamois away. I'll show you just on my scrap paper. All right, so then you just huff your breath. That moistens the ink. And there you go. Then you've just got your thank you. I didn't color it quite well because I was rushing. But um, yeah, you kind of get the idea. So then if you don't want the speech bubble, you can just use the sentiment on its own. Pretty cool, hey? So you can do that with all of the stamps in this stamp set. I meant to mention that before, but I forgot. There we go. All right, so let's bring in our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to emboss this piece and then we'll do all of our die cutting. So when you get the mini machine, whether or not you get the boho blue or you get um, the white, it comes with all of the cutting plates and the embossing plates as well. Okay, so I'll just move that one over there. There we go, because I'll leave this one here. We're gonna use that one in a moment. All right, so we are going to start first with our embossing. So when you get your plates, um, mine is quite worn because I've had mine for a while, but it does show you the instructions of how to layer up or what we call our sandwich. So, so it shows you how to put together your plates. Um, plate number one, this is your base plate. So basically you use this with everything. Okay, so we're going to put that one in. Now I want to emboss and I'm embossing with a 3D embossing folder. It tells me that on the packet, that it's a 3D because we have standard embossing um, folders and we have 3D embossing folders. These ones are 3D. So there's two different thicknesses of these gray plates. There's a, a light gray and a dark gray plate. And for this project, we need this one. And it shows us again on this plate, how to layer up our, um, our sandwich. Okay, so we, uh, that's our number four plate. So we'll get our embossing folder out. Not that one. So in this one, you get two, in this set, you get two embossing folders. You get stripes and you get the splatters. We're just using the stripes today. I love both of these actually. They, I use these ones quite a bit. All righty. So what we're going to do is we will put our cardstock in. Now, depending on which way you want those stripes to go, um, we'll de determine which way you're going to put your cardstock in. I want them running long ways, so I'm going to put my cardstock in that way and then close that up. Put that on there like, oh, sorry, put that on my base plate. It's going onto my base plate and then the grey plate is going over the top. 
Okay, so that's my that's my sandwich. Now, when you're using this mini machine, I'll just give you a little tip. When you're stacking your plates, just stagger them back a little bit like that rather than having them all butted up against the edge because it makes it easier for the rollers to grab because the rollers obviously in this machine are much smaller than in our larger machine um, and it just makes it easier for it to feed through. So just stagger them back a little bit. Probably doesn't even have to be quite as much as what I've got it there, but you get the idea. And then that'll feed through much more easily through your machine. So make sure you take your embossing folder with um, the hinge first. Oops, hang on a minute, I haven't got that lined up. There we go. Um, hinge in first into your die cutting machine and that will um, stop it from cracking and um, getting damaged. Hi Carol, how are you? Great to have you with us. There we go. All right, and so we've, now we've got that beautiful embossed detail on there so we've got a bit of texture i love texture on my projects you've probably already guessed that by now all of my projects have textures and layers and ribbon and bling but guess what this one doesn't have ribbon we have got bling however <laughs> got to at least have bling all right so we'll pop that one to the side and oh where did the other one go oh i've put it over there okay all right so we're going to do a little bit of inking on that one, but we'll do that in a moment. Before we get onto that one, we'll do all the other die cutting. Okay, so we're going to use our number one plate. And for our die cutting, we're using two of the number two plates. So these are our clear plates. Um, you can see that mine are cut up quite a lot because I use these ones an awful lot. Once they start to um, bow... Uh, mine, are, mine are a little bit bowed, but they're not too bad. They're still usable. But once they get really badly bowed, then you can buy um, replacement plates. So if you use them a lot like me, over time you will need to um, replace them, but they don't cost too much to replace them. And you, they come in a set of two. So I usually just, um, I purchase them in the, the set of two because that's how they come. I usually just replace one at a time. So the most cut up one I put on the bottom and then the new plate I put on the top. So let's see, I'm going to put this one on the bottom. Alrighty, so first of all, we'll die cut this one and we'll find the coordinating die. Oh, no, wait, I took them out of there. I've put, I've put my grid paper on top of everything. That's why I can't see them. Here we go. All right, so for that one, now let me see which one it is. I think it is this one. This die cuts the inside and the outside. Yep, so it's that one there. I'm going to grab a little bit of washi. Um, did I bring that? Where is that? Oh, hang on a sec. I'll grab my washi. Got a little bit of retired washi tape here. This is old retired um, Stampin' Up! washi tape. If it's really sticky washi tape, just dab it onto your clothing just to get a little bit of lint on there so it doesn't stick too hard to your cardstock and tear it although the very outer part of this cardstock doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using that. But if, if you're die cutting something where you are wanting to use the, um, the outside part of the cardstock or the paper, then just be sure to, um, yeah, to dab off some of that sticky off your uh, washi tape. All right, so we can fit some other dies in there at the same time. So let's go ahead and add a couple more. We've got um, the blue one is using the same die. So we'll have to put that through on a separate pass. Let's do the pumpkin pie as well. And I'm going to use this speech bubble here. And this time I don't really need to add washi tape because I've got enough cardstock around the outside for that one. So we'll pop those down. There we go. I love having my mini machine on my desk. It's really handy and it doesn't take up too much space. If you close those um, platforms when you're not using it, it's got a very small footprint, so it doesn't take up much space on your desk. It's also great for traveling um, or going to crops, um, going to classes if you need to take your own machines and things like that. So I love the little mini machine. Usually um, you can find a bag or a backpack or something to fit it into. Um, you could even use this. Here's another little tip. So you could even use this as like a stencil and perhaps with your blending brushes, 
um, make your own little speech bubble with your blending brushes and your ink. I might keep that piece and do that myself, actually. Um, all right, and then you've got, so, sorry, so it cut out the speech bubble, the thank you. If I turn my die over, you can see I've got the actual outline of the speech bubble there. So in the back of the die, it's got these tiny little holes, and that's for you to poke your take your pick tool or if you've got um, a sharp implement that's not too sharp because you don't want to pierce it all the way through and that just releases the cardstock from the die there you go so there you've got the two the two speech bubbles now the solid piece and the outer piece so it's really fun as well to do this with designer series paper so you can cut these with designer series paper and then put the designer series paper on the inside of the frame so I've seen a lot of cards done with that as well. They always look awesome too. So we're not using this piece, but I'm going to keep this piece for another project. So we just want this one. Okay, and then this one too, same thing. We've got our, our inner part and then we've got the outer part of the speech bubble. So we'll just poke that out. There it is. And again, keep that for another little template. All right, so for this one, we're going to be using the outer part. So we'll keep that for the project and the inner part is going to be kept for another project. All right, so that's those two. Um, put that back on there. I should have paid more attention. Oh, we need to use this one again, but I'll put that one back. All right, so this one, we need to die cut with the um, Tahitian Tide. So I'll put that one on there. And you'll notice too that when I'm putting these down on my cutting plates, I'm putting them at a slight angle because they've got quite a straight edge. Um, so any die that has a straight edge, it will feed through your machine much more easily. If you put it on a slight angle, it just makes it easier for it to feed, feed through the rollers. And then you don't get that big speed bump. The other one we're going to use is the, the rounded one with our crushed curry. There we go. So we'll put those ones through. Oh, I forgot about the little one as well that we already stamped. There we go. Okay, so again, we've got that outer piece. I'll save that. We've got the inner piece, which we're not using on this project, but we are using the outer piece. The frame, the speech bubble frame. That's what we'll call it, a speech bubble frame. There we go. So that's the one that we want for the project. Okay. And this one actually, they both came out. So there you go. This one didn't get stuck. So this time we want the frame and the inner part. We can use that for another project. Now you've got all of those um, stamps, don't forget. So you've got separate little sentiments here. All right, or separate little greetings. I'll, we'll call them greetings, not sentiments. Um, and then these ones that are inside, as I said, you can colour them with your stamp and write markers or just ink them up very carefully. If you were to mask, you can use your washi tape to mask the frame as well if you don't want that frame and just ink up the sentiment. And then you can use those little pieces, these ones here, to stamp some of those other little sentiments in there. They're cute. All right. Oops. All right, so we'll put those ones back. Now we need a couple more. We want the this one here for our little hearts, which are now dry. So I will put a bit of washi tape on this one just so that I can hug that hug that stamped image. And yeah, I think that was the only other one. Oh, I've got to do the white cardstock too, though. I have to show you how to do that. It'll have to be done on its own because it's a larger piece. All right. So we'll run that one through. There we go. 
Okay, so that's all of our little speech bubbles now, I think. I think we've got them all there. Just get this washi tape off. Oh, the washi tape's stuck really tight this time. It's torn all that cardstock. Okay, that's right. Okay, and next we need this piece. And I'm just thinking, is that going to fit, actually? I can't remember now if I did it on the... Did I do that on the large machine last time? Hang on, let's see. I think I did. I think I did this piece. I think I might have done this on the large machine. This one's a little bit longer. So if you had a narrower piece, then it would work. But this piece is a little bit wider than the cutting plate. So for this piece, I'm just going to bring in my um, big machine. So we'll fold up the little one and put put him to bed. My little skim, over you go. You go over there. I'll put those over there. And I'll just bring in my big machine just for this one. Okay. So here's the big brother. <laughs> This is, this is the uh, the standard size stamp and cut and emboss machine, the big one. Oh, much bigger. As you can see, it takes up a lot more space. In fact, I'll turn it around sideways so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Now, for this piece, I'll just line it up. Move that over for a sec. I'll just line it up here on the plate to show you. So this one is going to create that, um, that large speech bubble piece. It basically chops off the bottom part of your cardstock. So we'll line that up here. I'm going to put it at a bit of an angle. So we'll put it at a bit of an angle like that. And then I'm going to make sure that the edges go off the edges of the cardstock so that you, it cuts it right, right off. So we'll do it sort of like that and then we'll tape that on the cardstock now this is where you don't want washi tape that's too too sticky oh I stuck that to the actual plate didn't I this is my top plate hang on a sec let's do that again let's do it on here on the bottom plate there we go Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you don't want your washi tape too sticky for this part because we don't want it to tear that white cardstock. All right, then we'll put that through. And we'll put our top plate on. And we'll send that through. I'll move that over so you can see. Oh, something's not right. Am I missing something? Oh, no, that's right. There we go. Okay. And then when we take this off, let's remove that washi tape very carefully so I don't tear that cardstock. And when we take that off, you can see that it has cut away that part of the cardstock. See how it's, and it's created that little speech bubble or big speech bubble, actually. Isn't that cool? So there we go. But yeah, because that one was a little bit longer and my cardstock was a little bit um, wider, I just needed to use the big machine for that one. There we go. Okay. So we'll, um, my plates are a bit dirty. Okay, so that's that's how that die works from the set. Then you've got some additional little um, hearts in here as well. I can't remember if I pointed them out before, but they're really sweet little hearts. It cuts out um, two, that die cuts out two, and that die cuts out two. And then the little flowers in the stamp set also can be cut. So these little flowers and the little star as well. You've got two stars there and you've got two flowers, so they can be cut out as well. So they're really cute. Okay, so that is all our bits and pieces all die cut now. 
Uh, so the only other thing we need to do is to ink this piece up and then we can put everything together. And I just dropped something, hang on a sec. There we go, might need that, so I'll pick that up. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my grid paper again. And this is where we're gonna use our pumpkin pie ink. And I'm just gonna use a sponge dauber and we're just gonna sponge a little bit of ink over the embossed, the embossing on here. And using the ink just lightly, it just brings up the detail in the um, embossing folder. I'll do just half and show you the difference. Whoop. Can you see the difference there between what I've what I've inked and what I haven't? So that's just an, an added step, but it does just give you a little bit of definition in the embossing there. I think it just really makes it pop. So we'll just keep going with that. You can go across as well. If you go across, it makes the, um, it grabs that ink. There we go. Beautiful, good. All right, so we can pop that one away. So minimal inks on this one on this project, which is good. Okay, now let me just check for comments just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, no, I think we are all good. Fantastic, all right, so we are ready to put this all together. Now, if you um, wanted to, which I, I didn't do with these, but you can, is before you are die cutting these, you can add some, um, adhesive sheets to the back of your cardstock before die cutting them and then that will actually turn this into a sticker because then you can just peel off the backing and you've basically got a sticker uh, which makes it easy to stick them down. I totally forgot to do that today so we're just going to be using glue. So I'm going to get my silicon craft sheet because whenever I'm using liquid glue I do especially if I'm using something that's very detailed I do like to use my um, my silicon craft sheet. All right, and the silicon craft sheets are great. They can also be used for um, reverse image stamping as well, and uh, they can be washed in the in the with just some dishwashing detergent in the sink. The glue rolls straight off. You can also because it's silicon, um, you can also um, use it when you're heat embossing. Um, which is really good because it won't melt. Uh, yeah, it just has so many different uses. All right, well, let's start putting this all together. Here is our card base. So we'll start with, we'll start just with all of our layers and then we'll get to all of our little bits. There's our layers. They go this way. There we go. Okay, so some multi-purpose liquid glue. We're going to put our... Um, basic grey down first that we've already stamped our stars onto. This would make a great card for a little boy as well, or a girl, or a lady, or a man. It really, I think the colours and the design of it, I think you can just use it for anyone because it's just a really fun design. There we go. Okay, and then we want to put down our pumpkin pie strip that we have embossed lots of glue we want that to stick really well i'm going to put that in from the edge like so and we'll just line that up using my eye to hopefully get that border even that looks that looks about even even steven all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to put, um, before I adhere this one, we're going to adhere the um, the little pieces, the little bubbles. I'm just going to line them up before I put that on because then we're going to mount that up onto, um, onto some dimensionals. And I don't want it to be too sort of bulky and um, 
everything while I'm trying to pop these on. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with our blue Tahitian Tide piece. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the edges. Now, I am holding this. I do have my silicon craft sheet there. You can put it down to um, put that on. And then if you do happen to get any glue on the silicon, then it won't. Whoops, like that. <laughs> then you can just um, roll it straight back off again. Once, it, once that's dry, you just let it dry on the silicon craft sheet first. And then... And then, um, yeah, it just rolls off. Okay, so then we'll start placing these. And I'll kind of work out my placement will be around about sort of like that. So we'll pop that down there. Oops, uh oh, sticky fingers. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to overlay the pumpkin pie speech bubble so we'll put a bit of glue on this one dab 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 just want to do some little dabs oh. on the uh, very fine pieces as i said the adhesive sheets would be awesome with these so i'll try to remember to use the adhesive sheets next time when i go to do this uh, this one's just going to be overlapped, but that's okay, isn't it? It's all good. Uh, and it's going to come down about there. About there-ish. It doesn't really matter. Like, you can overlay them however you like, really. Okay, and then we've got our little crushed curry. glue on that one there we go and this one's going to come down here like this now this one we want to sit underneath coming out from underneath this one so if we kind of line this one up can work out where this one's kind of going to go it'll go about there there we go okay compress that on all right, then we've got uh, this little one, which is going to be up onto um, on some dimensionals, and this one's going to be up on dimensionals. So what we're going to do before we get that far is we're going to adhere this one down because this one's going up on dimensionals as well. Um, I was just going to turn it upside down onto my silicon craft sheet, but I have got a bit of glue on there, so I'm going to just roll that. Let me cap my glue, move that out the way. And I just that glue is starting to dry now, so I'll just roll that off because I don't want to get that onto the front of my piece. There we go. So I'll turn that upside down in case there's any excess glue there. I don't want to get that on my desk, so I'll turn that upside down and we'll pop some dimensionals onto there. Okay. So how is everyone's day? Have you been having a lovely day? Have you been doing any crafting today or are you crafting along with me? I forgot to ask you that earlier. I usually always ask and I totally forgot today. So who is crafting today? It's nearly cup of time. <laughs> As I said, I've been doing more cleaning and cleaning out and tidying up today. So been racing around and I've been too hot to have a cuppa yet today so after I finish my live once I'll have a little sit down for a moment and have a little cuppa I think all right so now we're going to add our front panel on so we'll pop that about there make sure I've got that lined up oops a little bit crooked hang on a sec hang on a sec oh lucky they didn't stick yet Let's try and line that up a little bit straighter. There we go. Okay. So pop that on. Judy said she's been recovering. She's in recovery sleep mode. <laughs> she just dreamt about crafting. Oh, she just dreams about crafting these days. You'll get back to it, Judy. 
you will get back to it one day. You've just had lots going on, lots of lots of busyness and things happening. But it's it's it'll be it'll be there waiting for you. So never fear, I'm sure you'll get back to it. Ah, Fee's card making today too. Fantastic. Great to hear that, Fee. Hey Chitska, how are you? Great to see you jump on today. We are having fun with the, um, now let me get the, the name right, the Conversation Bubbles Bundle. I have to pause as I say that because otherwise it's sort of like a bit of a tongue twister. Bubbles Bundle, it's those two B words. <laughs> Deborah said, Brax and I went for a walk this morning and I'm card making with you now. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's so nice. All right, so this one is just going to go here in the center. It's our thank you sentiment. And then our little love hearts. They're going to go up the top, up here, like that. There we go. We finished with our silicon craft sheet, so that can go away. And now we can add our bling. We, um, just before I started, actually, Callie asked me to go outside, but I didn't have time. She likes going out in the big yard and having a run all around, but sometimes it's hard to get her to come back in. And I thought, I don't have time for that. So we actually have a section of our yard um, fenced off just for her, just for mainly, you know, if we're in a hurry, because we never leave her out there on her own. She can't be trusted. <laughs> She picks up everything. Um, yeah, so we we just don't, whoops, we just don't trust her. So if um, we can't watch her closely or we're just in a hurry, we just put her into her little pen section. It's quite a big section, actually. She can run around in it. But uh, at least then we know we can easily um, get her to bring her back inside again. There we go. So that is our bling. We're just using some rhinestone basic jewels. These are my most used embellishment. I love the rhinestones. They just go with everything and you get so many of them. And the other good thing about these is too, you can use your Stampin' Blends to color these any color you want. So if you are not familiar with our Stampin' Blends, now these are different to the ones I showed you before. The one I showed you before was this one, the Stampin' Right Marker. These ones are water-based. The Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based, so never use these ones to colour your stamps because they will stain your stamps. But these ones are great because you can colour your ribbons, you can colour your embellishments, you can even, you of course can colour your stamped images as well, um, but these ones are multi-purpose, so they're, they're great. I mean, both the markers are multi-purpose for different things, but um, yeah, I love using them to colour my rhinestones as well. So there you go. So, okay, so that is our card finished. Isn't that just so cute? So fun, bright and colorful. You could do this in all different colors. You can incorporate some designer series paper in there as well. Um, but yeah, just a really, really fun set to play with. So if you had overlooked that one in the catalog, let me show you again. Um, oh, you love it, Zana. Thank you. Oh, you love the way that you can color. Yes, yes. So let me show you again where to find this bundle. If you're looking for it, it's in the mini catalogue, the January to April mini catalogue. And it's on page 39 if you're looking for it in the catalogue. But as I said, if you're going to purchase it, make sure you get the stamps and the dies because you'll be wanting both. They coordinate beautifully together um, and you'll be wanting to use them both together. So check that out. Have a look on um, Pinterest and see. Actually, let me have a look and see... If um, there's other samples, there should be some other samples in the back as well where the bundles are. Um, but yeah, check out on Pinterest and see some other ideas as well. There's all, because the catalog's new, there's not a whole heap of, of um, samples out there just yet, but there are some coming. Uh, I mean, there are some and there'll be more coming. There's one there. So it's an extra project there. And again there, they have used on this one, I'll hold it up a bit closer. They've used the one that I used for creating this speech bubble here. 
so I've used the entire length of it. They've actually used it in smaller, to cut smaller sections or smaller pieces of cardstock to make those smaller speech bubbles. So you can cut your cardstock down and just use the smaller portions of it. So isn't that cool? So lots, lots of different ways that you, you can use them. So it's a really fun set. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed that and um, that you like that. Rose said, I do like your card. I didn't think I would like that set. Oh, there you go. That's often the way, isn't it? When you see something and you see it used, um, it gives you so many other ideas. But sometimes some of the product products, you just need to see them used to see how you, know, how you can use them, how you can best use them. But they look great with DSP. With the DSP on the inside of the speech bubbles too, I've seen, actually, if you saw the um, mini catalog launch last week, or not last week, week before, on the 5th, 5th to the 7th, um, there was a demonstrator who demonstrated these and she used, it was um, Heidi from the UK. I can't think of her last name. She's also on Instagram and she showed one of her cards on Instagram too. Um, and she used designer series paper. They looked amazing. But this was the first card that I made um, with this set. So I want to do another one with the designer series paper because it looks amazing. Um, could you round off the corners of this one yeah you could yeah if you had a corner rounder you could certainly round off the corners um not sure how you'd use it with the dies oh you could maybe i don't know maybe if you used that die let's see it would probably make it a bit of a um different shape like it wouldn't be you could kind of use this die to kind of round off those edges a little bit like that Rose, yeah, but it wouldn't sort of be as rounded as these ones because this is more of a, it's sort of like an arced shape. It's not super rounded, but you kind of could round them off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool too. That would be really fun. <gasps> I have to give that a go. But, or if you had a corner rounder, then yes, you could round those corners as well. And if you're doing a smaller piece, you could make a smaller um, a smaller one with the rounded corners. Yeah, does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> oh, thanks, Martha. I'm glad you like it. All right, I'm going to tip. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Jenny says nice. Martha says it looks good. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to tip the camera back up so that I can say goodbye to you. And um, yeah, just bear with me one moment and I'll just get that ready. Here we go. Oh, I've got to lift my stand up too. That's right. Because I had that down, didn't I? I forgot that I put that down. There we go. Otherwise, my iPad was in the way and then the camera would have been right in my face and you would have seen me up very, very close. <laughs> you don't need to see me up that close. Here we go. All right. I'll flip those cameras. Oh, I nearly missed my chair. Hang on a sec. There we go. <laughs> I nearly missed my chair. Oh, my goodness. All righty happening with that light I've been having a lot of trouble with this light lately it's just not in the right spot there we go all right so there's our cards really cute and you've got I don't know if you can I don't know if the camera's picking it up but you've got the um, texture not only do you have the texture here but you've got the texture of the frames of the speech bubbles as well because they've got that embossing on them too so they're super cute. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if there's anything that you, I can help you with, if you have any questions about products or anything to do with Stampin' Up, um, please feel free to let me know. Remember, we've got that awesome join offer at the moment too during celebration. And you can choose $315 worth of product and only pay $169. Or if you would like to get a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, you've got the white or the boho blue to choose from. And then you can add that as well. Plus you get the $315 worth of product and only pay $210. So 
but super amazing, lots of great deals. And when you're shopping during celebration, then for um, every $90 purchase, you can choose a free item from celebration from the brochure. So be sure to check that out. If you are shopping with me, make sure you use my host code. I think I forgot to mention that too, um, because not only are, um, do you get those celebration freebies over $90, but if you're spending over $75, you are going to get a free gift from me as well as a thank you for shopping with me. So, and every order with me gets a thank you card also. So I like to look after my customers, love to spoil you. <laughs> so if there's anything I can do to help you, please let me know. Um, now I'm going to be going live again on Thursday morning at 11 a.m. And we're going to be playing with some of the new celebration products. I'm not going to tell you which ones yet, just in case I change my mind between now and then, but I do already have one um, in the makings. Well, I haven't actually started making anything yet, to be honest, but I've chosen which stamp set we're going to be using. Oh, I said we're using a stamp set. Okay, so we're using a stamp set from the celebration brochure on Thursday morning. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be making a really fun card, and it's going to be it's going to be short. I have to stick to an hour on Thursday because I've got a Zoom meeting at twelve o'clock. So um, yes, so it won't be a long won't be a long live on Thursday on uh, Thursday morning. It has to be quick. It has to be under an hour. So uh, I hope you can join me. But I hope you all have a wonderful week. Even if you can't join me, remember my videos are always available on replay. I also upload them to YouTube, so they're on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can feel free to go over there as well. And, uh, oh, hey, Janelle. Ducked in quickly while hubby puts fuel in the car. Ah, oh, well, thank you so much. We just made this card. We're just finishing up. But I just made this really fun card using the conversation bubble bundle got to think when i say that so i don't say the wrong thing um but yeah super super fun so be sure to go back and watch the uh the replay janelle because you'll love it yeah it was really fun yeah right at the end yes you did that's okay it's always available on the replay so feel free to go back and watch it when you get time all right well have a great week everyone i hope that you can join me on um Thursday morning at 11 a.m. That's Australian Eastern Daylight Time, by the way. We are on Daylight Savings at the moment. Um, but if you're not, then I look forward to seeing you again next time. I'll be back again next Monday um, at 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. But have a great week, everyone. <laughs> Happy crafting. Bye.